What's up, Hockey Card fans? Welcome back to another episode of Hockey Cards Only. My name's John, I'll be your host, and today I'm doing a video response or a VR to Sticks G. They are doing a contest, and I've never done a video response yet, so I'm going to try it. Uh, so let's get into it. All right, cheesy intro is over. Okay, so basically this video response is show your five favorite cards and one card that you uh, want. So let me show you his channel real quick. Sticks G, go give him a subscribe right here. And uh, this video, hold on a minute, I go over here. This is the video that you should go watch. I'm in the way. Ugh. Sticks G and Brandon Jensen right here I'll set it in the middle so you guys can all see oh shoot we're not on that screen BAM okay so uh, go find him give him a subscribe and if you do a video response by tomorrow which is Friday at noon uh, you'll be in his uh, wheel of names I believe I'm not really doing it for that I just wanted to uh, make a, our first video response and I'm a new subscriber to their channel so I'm starting to watch their stuff so what up um, I got my Canucks jersey on for you guys Okay, so first card. Let's get into the first card. All right, hockey card table. Okay, my first card. Ooh, I'm going to put my little cover over it like it's a PSA reveal. <laughs> PSA reveal. HGA reveal. Like I could get something in PSA right now. Okay, first card. Favorite cards. Ready? Let's get the camera. I'll get it focused because my, my setup is a little laggy, just so you all know. Okay, first favorite card. Bam. Pavel Bure, Super Rookie in Top School. I collect this card and his Young Guns. But this is kind of like, uh, I wouldn't say, it's like Marquee Rookie. I don't know if they did it back in 92. Um, they do Marquee Rookies and then Gold would be kind of like Marquee Rookie platinum like a pla oh, OPG platinum something along that lines this is about a tw 10 to 20 dollar card raw so favorite card he has a rookie card in tops gold also but this one just looks awesome i mean the jersey he, these jerseys are just awesome okay so pavel bure is my favorite player and that is why this is my first card so set that down second favorite card ready bam i found this the other day my Ovechkin, sorry if you saw the next one. My Ovechkin rookie we found. So I like hunting cards. I'm not a pack ripper per se. Um, I go find collections and then sort and sort and sort and sort and I find gems like this. Now this one's not in great shape. It had edge wear. But man, this is a, what a keeper. For like a $20, $30 collection, it was a bunch of binder sheets. And this is what... Uh, was the best card in there obviously this is just a few episodes ago if you want to see it my third favorite card which i found this one too and in a uh, like a garage sale goodwill box oh, sorry guys if you're seeing my other ones i'm just doing this quick but this is the uh it's actually a dominic hashik card but it's very 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 flipping hard to find uh, I'm going to send this to get graded. I found this. I did not do a pack rip. Uh, this one, again, the problem with that, though, is they don't come in perfect shape. <laughs> uh, but you do get lots and lots and lots of cards to sort through, generally, if you get them used, instead of pack rips. So, anyways, this is a tough one. I think these go 20 to 40 on uh, eBay. If I find them for five, which I've never found one for five, I would, I would be right there getting it. Card number three, which is the... Sorry, card number four, uh, which is the only car I think card I paid too much for, <laughs> is this one. This is a box bottom. Sorry for the glare. This is probably my most expensive card. And I've only bought a few cards that uh, I just straight up pay for. It. This was one of them. This is kind of my long-term hold. Now, this is Tops. They make Opeachy also. Now, this one is a PSA Authentic. I believe it's been either trimmed, cut too short. You can see it on the top. But you have to hand cut these cards. So, it's not like it's a standard card. 
Now this card, I believe to be the rarest card in the 80s, because Gretzky I consider 79, he's 79, 80. Uh, if you take that card out of the equation and OPG and tops, this is on the bottom of the actual box that you get. I'll show you. These are my favorite things to collect. Um, it's this. This is the OPG version. Now this thing is not, is not a, it's technically a card. Sorry for the awful glare. There's not much I can do. Oh, there you go. Okay. This one is damaged, but I got, that's, that's how I could afford this. So I think I paid in the $40 on auction. Okay. Uh, for this thing. And my goal was, or is, I just, I picked this up only a month or two ago. <clears throat> I want to turn it into one of these and get it graded and send it to PSA. Now, OPG and Tops cardboard's different, and OPG is insanely rare to get. They made probably three of these for every one of those. I don't know if that's the exact ratio because I wasn't there. I was born in 84, and this is like, what, 85, 86. Um, so I like this type of cool old stuff. Like, it, you know, it's, it's cool. So uh, if you think about it, you had to get this is this square which is like the insert right uh card is one in 36 packs there's only four so you get one of these in every whatever four out of 36 packs i'm not going to do the math because i'll mess it up but uh then there's oh, four different patterns on the bottom so you have uh a one in four to get lemieux anyways moving on but this is like this is like some cool stuff, I think. Okay, next. I know you gotta, I'm gonna make it quick because I know you gotta watch other videos too, so. Uh, here it is. Now we have one, two, three, and this is four. Everything under here is a uh, runner up, okay? So this is my Chara Future Watch. Another just like stupid hard card to find. I bought this on auction. I did not find it, uh, but I got a good deal on it. I saw the other graded cards between two and 500. And if you watch auctions, this card's never on there. There's like one, if there's one. Uh, it's just kind of hard to find. Um, but yeah, one of my favorite rookie cards right now. Okay, so my honorable mentions, are you ready? Yarmer Yager's premier rookie card. The best 1990 card, okay? Ray Bork's rookie card. Still filled in. Okay, this was top tip. And then Muskoka, I needed to ask you a question, buddy. Um, you had, this is your favorite card. I'm like, oh my goodness, I've had that. Or I have this card. I have a die cut version and a regular version. So I didn't know how much, how crazy this was to find. But I did go hit up eBay. Oh, I don't have it pulled up on eBay. Right now. Anyways, you can find them on, or I found some on eBay for 10 to 20 to 30 on you know raw not graded but when i was watching baseball card investor collector dealer this was considered the like one of the craziest cards they have in a psa 10 i think it was almost worth like six seven hundred dollars so i was like whoa and it might be just because the population's low because it's got all these edges and it's insanely hard to get in the 10. so moving to the end of the video it was show us a card you want okay now I have only been into new cards for the last like six months, maybe. So, won't get into that, but I have the screen here. Okay, ready for my cards I want. The card I'm looking for, or that I really want. You ready? Todd Bertuzzi, Future Watch Auto. This card is on auction right now. These go for 100 to 150. I don't have 150, so I'm gonna kind of like watch these and see if, if along the lines I get 50, 100 bucks from selling cards, I'm gonna try to snipe one of these. They only made a thousand, right? Uh, I feel like it's gonna be a good hold. I don't know, he'll have a decent career. We're near Detroit, so there's a lot of Detroit stuff going on out here. Now, the card I insanely want that I should also buy is this one. <laughs> Pavel Burry. Heart hopefuls and silver. They make this in co uh, not copper, bronze, silver, and gold. Uh, bronze is like five thousand, and I have that card. 
This one, if you want to look at it, it's out of 1,000, and this one is one of 1,000. So being a Pavel Murray collector, I need this thing. I will send it out to get graded, and it'll hang out with this guy. You know what I'm saying? So that is the other card I'm trying to snipe. If I could add a third one, I would say the Pavel Burry first year game jersey. It's like a $250 card, and these are big cards. Okay, for me, man, I... I would trade a Patrick Wall rookie card for one, if anybody knows, if they have a Pavel Burry game jersey, I think it's like 95, 96 upper deck. So anyways, that's my video response. Everybody go follow Brandon Jensen and Styx G and do a VR up, uh, VR uh, video return. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Take it easy and have a good rest of the day.